part two of the Masses Hall. Let's go. What's going on? 22 here. Let's start off part two of this massive haul. This is all PC run stuff that I picked up. Uh, some of the stuff, like what I'm about to show you, is stuff that I just don't see very often, ever. And so when I find it, especially at what I feel like is a good deal, which these were like $5 a piece, I grab them up. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is volume one, number 49, in really good shape. So yeah, the first booth that I went to at this show, this guy had like these TMNT books. Here's number 50. This is one that I had, so this was an upgrade to what I have already. Love that cover, homaging number one. Especially with all of them having the red bandanas, that's really cool. And he wanted $5 a piece for these, and I was like, yes, absolutely, especially the grade they're in. Here's issue 55. These are just books, I do not see TMNT books. Not the first volume out and about in the wild. It's just, it's not something I see. Here is issue 57. So yeah books that I do see out in the wild quite a bit or at least when I do come up on them I find a lot of them is Brave and the Bold and this show had a bunch of Brave and the Bolds for a dollar and they're in really good shape. Here's Brave and the Bold number 153. I am not trying to complete all of Brave and the Bold volume one but what I'm trying to do is get like all the issues with like Batman in it or like the keys because there's a ton of keys in Brave and the Bold. Here's issue 54. I don't care that like a lot of these are newsstands but that's not why I picked them up. That's not why I cared. I care about getting the book in the highest grade that I can at the cheapest price that I can. Here's issue 60, 161. And like I said I'm just picking this series up especially the Batman where he's in it and that's over half of the run because I feel like this is one of those Batman volumes that like people just don't talk about like you'll see people go after Detective Comics run you'll see people go after the Batman run here's issue 163 but you don't hear people talk about the Brave and the Bold and these have some really cool covers on it some awesome artwork and also it's just him back you know Batman teamed up with a lot of cool characters within like the DC mythos Here's issue 164. Like I said, Brave and the Bold has an, a lot of key books in it as well. With the first appearance of the Justice League, their second and third appearance in there. The first appearance of the Teen Titans along with their like first and few, uh, second appearances. 167. Suicide Squad. Hawkman has his like first Silver Age appearance in it, I believe. And like he's got a nice little run in there. 172. Issue 200 is like the first appearance of Katana. I believe the Outsiders first appear in Brave and the Bold. It's just, there's just a lot of awesome issues in Batman the, or in the Brave and the Bold. Issue 173. Here is issue 174. Like I said, there was just a, all these were a dollar. Every single one of them was a dollar. And like I said, they were in really, really good high grade. And this was like my last stop, the last booth that I went to. Cause I was like, I'm spending way too much money. 175. One eighty-five. I'm still a long ways away from completing what I'm wanting to complete in this series in this run. One eighty-six. I also this is just kind of a side quest thing of mine, where like I just kind of pick up books as I find them. Like I said, good grade. Great price, I'll pick them up. 187. Awesome yellow cover, yellow cover challenge. 189. I don't know who's the, who the, the rose and the thorn is, but uh, she's in a decent amount of issues. 194. 
Batman and the Flash getting monkey stomped. Like, bad. I mean, bad, bad. 198. I don't know who the Karate Kid is either. So, there's that. 199. And this has a Spectre in it. I just think it's cool when the Spectre's on the cover. Because a lot of the times, especially in these older books, he's like larger than charge kind of deal. So, Spectre has some really, really cool covers. Silver Age, Golden Age, of course. Uh, it's just really cool to see him on a cover. They, I feel like they did him right when it was those eras of comic books. Give you a little break from the large runs that I've found. Here's another side quest uh, run that I'm wanting to complete. Small one, V for Vendetta. Here is issue number 10. This is the last issue of the run. I slow, like I said, these are these are books that also that I don't find very often, and uh, I'm not as picky as far as condition. I do keep track of it though because I want to, you know, if I have the ability to sit there and upgrade for cheap, then I will do that. Hellblazer issue number seven. I haven't decided really what I want to do as far as my, like my Hellblazer run. There's 300 issues in the very first volume, and I don't want all 300 issues though. So I can't, I don't know if I want to do like the first 25, if I want to do the first 50, the first 100, what it is right now. I'm keeping all my books going to 100. I just don't know that I want to stay that way though. Here is issue 88 though. <laughs> really cool cover. Really cool cover. Of course, I had to find some more Iron Man books because the goal for... Uh, 2023 the one that I'd set late in the year because I did horrible picking goals but I'll have a goal video up so be on the lookout for that is I wanted to have 50 or less books to get uh, starting out in 2024 so this went towards that here is Iron Man issue number 47 and then super happy that I found this one these both had like staple marks that go all the way through them in the front and the but like obviously in the front and the back but it doesn't take away from like I didn't even really notice them until I got home and was like doing a page count and stuff like that these copies present really really well and uh, I mean I'll make note of again what I think the grade is and if I come across something that's better grade then I'll pick it up and upgrade Especially for a good deal, but I think I picked these up for five dollars a piece. So these were still just great grabs for what they are. Iron Man number seventy-six. I'm also working on the Sandman run. I believe that's through issue seventy-six that they that it goes to. And here is issue number twenty-four. I don't care particularly too much about the condition of these that I get them in. I just want them in like decent decent condition issue number 27 and so these i picked up all these for a dollar a piece and i feel like that's like i don't pick up doubles i do make sure that like what i'm picking up is something that i don't have especially right now issue 28 but for a dollar a piece and most of these most all of these were in like really really good grade issue 35 issue 36 issue number 40 these all have extremely weird covers on them I don't know I don't know why they have such weird covers but they do especially that one that one's super weird issue 41 I think with this pickup of Sandman books, this gets me a little over half, the majority you know, of the way through Sandman, which considered to be volume two. Issue 43. Issue number 44. Issue 45. 
that is my haul my last massive haul of 2023 tell me down below what you thought of the books that i picked up what was your favorite out of the bat thank y'all so much for watching you can find me on a podcast every monday new episodes drop of the comically comics podcast on spotify apple and then wednesdays on youtube so be sure to go check that out have a good laugh you can also find me on instagram and ebay 22 underscore comics once again, thank y'all so much for watching, and as always, y'all have a good one.